So, what's new this turn? We've made that colony, we've gotten level 2 armor, and nothing else. So let's check out what that armor's like. Level 2 armor gives us 15 structure. Oh yeah, I can deal with that. I was expecting 11 or 12, 15 I am definitely okay with. So I guess that means we are going to just upgrade everything that has armor on it. Is there still some left in the queues? No, I guess the last one has already started construction of these. Uh, yeah, they go from 180 to 270 armor. Oh well. If you wanted to build the perfect fleet and always upgrade your ships, you would never leave the harbor. The space harbor anyway, so I guess we'll have to deal with that. Upgrade everything. Upgrade everything. Upgrade all the units too. Uh, melody. I just read it as Melady, like Tips Fedora, Melady. And that's the last one. Okay. Oh, wait. Could have probably upgraded these again. Uh, what do you look like? Yeah, you've already built the units for the kilotons and units. Oh well. Sleeping Sickness, that is our radar cruiser. Uh, that one probably needs the upgraded armor least. Uh, but we are also going to have a free queue after this. So we have to decide what else to build with this now. So these are the two warships we built. Mm. Maybe, maybe we want more. I'm not sure exactly what my opponent would be building, aside from like explorers and colony ships. But if he has some hardware defending his home, like fighters or units, which are what I would build if I wanted to defend my planets, then I probably want more warships, and probably not warships with missiles actually, because they just hit all the ships and planets, I guess, and bases, but uh, who builds bases anyway? Unless you gave bases a big advantage, I don't know yet. So, dropship, you can load all the fighters, and you can load all the troops, and then we can remove the move to your current position order, because you don't need that. And the two of you are just going to stay here for now. I use uh, the movement order to move to your current position as a way of saying idle or skip this turn. Because then when I hit space, uh, the, the ships don't appear in your list anymore. They don't get cycled through anymore. Yeah, we probably want a warship that can deal with smaller ships. So let's just edit that warship we have. Uh, that's the smallpox design. The beautiful name. And rip out the guns. Use the battery mount, I guess. We said heavy mount was too big. Carbonate mounts. Increase cost by a lot, but damage by 2x. Mm. It's maybe not what we want against fighters or likes. And artillery mounts at 30 kilometers to range. 30 kilometers to range, I'm not sure if that's worth it. 3 speed, I'm not sure if my enemy has things that can move uh, faster than 3 speed. Though I think these medium ships don't actually get a movement bonus. No, the smaller ships get a combat speed bonus. So maybe artillery mounts would be worth it, but anything that is uh, small and defendy, like fighters or these gunboats, is probably going to come close enough to me anyway to get shot with uh, mass drivers, I guess. Or we could put an auto cannon on there. 6 damage per shot, and it fires 3 times a second, or a little more than 3 times a second, which means it does 20 DPS. The mass driver does uh, like 31 damage, and it shoots every 3 seconds, so it does like 10 DPS. It's also smaller. Or quite half the size, and it's much less susceptible to a massive armor. But with this thing doing 5 or 6 damage now, I think we are going to p put on 2 of these. Uh, we could probably put on 4 of these, that would just enough, uh, that would uh, just about fit. But I think we're not going to be happy with the ordnance consumption then. Because these things are also going to use 6, a little more than 6 so, uh, ordnance per second, which means that four of these are going to use 24 ordnance a second, which means that this is going to be gun 
in 20 seconds of continuous fire. Mm, that's insufficient, I believe. Let's rip one of these out and add a few more ordnance thingies. Mm, maybe one less, and let's add no, a mass driver. These things have a range of 20 for ideal fire, and these things have a range of 40 for ideal fire. So I'm not sure if that is really what we want, if that's going to affect ship behavior. Though that should really be set by this. Uh, there's no real attack smaller things. Attack smaller things strategy. So let's just set this as anti ship 20. And your design type is going to be attacker 20. Okay. Then let's slap on two armor plates. And call the ship. Uh, you are going to be Rachitic, uh, Rachitis. That sounds like a minus. <laughs> okay, let's build two of these or so. Mm, yeah, I'm not actually sure how much uh, is remaining in the construction of this ship. How much of yard time it is going to consume, but it's going to at most consume 1.1k yard time. And this was this one, basically. So we can expect at least one of these to get done. The second one most likely not. And I think after that we can send this thing on its way. Go here, I guess. Or maybe there. Let's see. We can always have this return after a few turns if we go through here and see there's, no, there's nothing there that we wanna invade. There's another dead end system like this one. Uh, that's the pains of sending out ships that early. Wait, didn't we actually get this one? No, we just got this one this turn, not last turn. Okay, what do we want to make here? First of all, we need a spaceport to make anything in the system. How expensive are they? A thousand. Which means uh, it's going to take a few turns to build. We've gotten 53 population, something we haven't kept an eye on yet is the migration here, but we are up to 187 population and we are still getting an amount of malus here. Amount on a planet decreases production by 20%. So I guess uh, the population amount uh, scale is much more smooth than uh, much more smoothly than it would be in uh, vanilla or balance mode, which I am fine with as well. Hmm. Okay then. What is the actual construction rate with this now then? 200. Well, from 150 to 200. Yeah. You keep building a light shipyard. I think after that light shipyard is done, you want to have another one and then a heavy one and then we destroy the other two and build another heavy. <laughs> I think that's what this plan is going to look like. Oh yeah, and the colon chart didn't stick. I find that if you don't set them when you first colonize the planet and the, the turn that you colonize it, they often don't stick for some reason. And that's a multiplayer thing, I believe. I'm not sure if you have that in single player, but I haven't actually played an extensive single player game in ages. Not that I would say I've played lot of lots of multiplayer in ages, but uh, I have actually played a lot of multiplayer this year. There's been a little bit of a renaissance. So, in order to fill 30 kilotons of anything on this planet, I'm pretty sure that we want to want a yard. <sighs> Let's say at this build rate we want to build uh, 30 metropolises or research labs. That is just way too long. So let's start with the light shipyard. Okay. No, you're going there still. No other ships need commands. Then uh, we're done. Oh wait, 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 wait. Before we're done, let's check this. Yeah, we can remove these points from the uh, armor tank. It's actually heavy armor titanium plate as well. And we've unlocked the medium one. Wait, we haven't looked at that. And I was ready to call it a turn. It does have ten size. Ah, yeah, and it just has 150 structure, so it scales linearly. And it does actually have one point of damage protection. So, uh, yeah, that's really what we should be using for the uh, for the warships. 
let's change it. Or we can hit edit again if we do this right. Wait, we need to go to designs. Yes, we can hit edit again. Let's pull out all the light armor plates. I like what he did to the icons of these armor plates too. If you look, these armor plates are uh, kind of thin and the other ones are thicker. It's like two armor plates uh, behind each other. And uh, the level 3 ones are, I'm guessing, three armor plates on top of each other. I like that. Oh yeah, and we can remove another four armor plates and we can fit two medium ones. Very nice. Very nice. And that way the tiny auto cannons are going to be almost useless against the ship already. Oh yeah, and the cost scales linearly as well, from one one measly mineral to ten measly minerals. I guess these things might be uh, useful throughout the game, unless the structural values and damage values go up so high that in the fact that they just don't cost very much. Hmm. Let's queue them up again and then that's it for the turn. Time to upload.